can you introduce yourself? Perfect. Can you tell me what's happening today? Today is the first day of Menominee K. When the people go out and harvest the wild rice. And where are we? And can you tell us a little bit about this place? This is called Dead Fish Lake. Uh, at one time, a great chief lived on the south shore. And then my grandfather lived on the north shore of this lake. And his grandfather. And his grandfather. And his grandfather. Uh, can you uh, tell a little bit um, about the significance of Manumanake and, and this place? Manuman figures in a lot of our stories. There are a lot of Wenuju stories. He's the one that sowed all the lakes for that race. And so it's a gift from the Creator. And so we treat it that way. It's a gift from the Creator. Food growing on water. Can you tell me about your best memory of ricing on this lake? <laughs> it's difficult to sell it. Sell it separated down to the best memory. It's just or is there a one continuous that, gift. Is there an uh, uh, something that stands out to you when you think back? I'm sure there's a uh, lot, but... A poem. Let's see if I remember it right. Manoman. Tobacco swirled in the lake as we offered our thanks. Calm water welcomed us. Rice heads nodding in, in agreement. Ricing again, miigwech money do. Cedar caressed the heads. Ripe rice came along to join us in many meals this winter. The rice bearded up. We saw an eagle, a couple of coots. The sun smiled everywhere. Relatives came together. Talk of other lakes, other seasons. Fingers stripping rice well, laughing, gossiping, remembering. It's easy to feel a part of the generations that have raced here before. It felt good to get on the lake. It felt better getting off, carrying a canoe, canoe load of food and centuries of memories. Wow. What will happen after they come in with the rice? Uh, what we do with it is we take it home, spread it out on a tarp in the sun, clean it of plant debris, leaves and whatever, whatever we don't eat, and then we'll parch it, which will stop the decomposition process. So we'll parch it in a, in a big cast iron kettle at the house. Is that how it's always been done with your family? Well, I think when uh, people lived here, they had the kettle right out in the yard. We, we actually live about, uh, let's see, Maybe seven or eight miles from here. There's six lakes that, uh, that uh, is controlled by the Anishinaabe people of the Fond du Lac Band. Can you tell me something special about living here in this community? Yeah, it's easy to feel the need to live with the seasons and take the, the various gifts that the Creator has given us for each season. Is, is there anything else that you'd like to mention? I'm glad to be able to do this. I'm glad to be able to pass it on to my children and my grandchildren because going backwards, my dad my grandparents, his grandparents, all of us depended on this as a food source. So I think there's something actually in the monomen that I need to, to function at my best. 
Miigwech for spending some time with, with me today and inviting me out and for this interview.